Hi Danny Grace and Jude, this is the overview, the introduction to the glucose never lies. Now I know I have type 1 diabetes, I've done since 2008, and I know Grace and Jude, you now have a 10 times higher chance of getting type 1 diabetes than I have. So this blog, this dynamic glucose management, this glucose never lies, is my attempt to synthesize everything that I know about type 1 diabetes, pull it together in a simple formula, a simple system so that if you do get type 1 diabetes you're able to dominate it like I've been able to certainly over the last few years. We'll have a foundation section and that will build towards dynamic glucose management, the thing that really is changed things for me that has allowed me to manage my diabetes to such a high level. So this is my last three months. So looking at timing range between 4 and 10 millimoles per litre or 70 to 180 milligrams per deciliter, I've got a 99% timing range but in the optimal healthy glucose range of people without diabetes, 3.3 millimoles to 6.7 millimoles per litre, or 65 to 120 milligrams per deciliter, I've got 80% timing range. Now contrast that to the best automated pancreas systems, they're managing about 50% in this range, about 70 75% in this range. So the skills and tools that I'm going to teach you throughout the Glucose Never Lies is going to enable you to put these things into practice so that you can get the best level of diabetes control, protect your health in the future and also feel good in terms of being able to manage this condition as effectively as possible. It is going to take a bit of hard work but it's going to be worth it. So the glucose never lies, what's that all about? So continuous glucose monitoring gives you feedback every five minutes, 24 hours a day, has no emotion, it's not stuck by old outdated theories and it provides crystal clear guidance on what works for you as an individual. It tells you does that strategy work or not? Is that a good idea to do or not? It's not stuck on theories and information from 10, 15, 20 years ago. So that's something that you're going to need to learn to do is look at your continuous glucose monitor, try things, see whether they work, but always remember that, that feedback will tell you whether it's a good strategy for you or not. Obviously, Grace and Jude, who gets type 1 diabetes in your former years, me and Danny, your mum, are going to have to look after um, things for you. So this is also for Danny to make sure that she feels confident and comfortable in knowing how to use dynamic glucose management so she can also teach you and support you in terms of managing the diabetes. Now, I'm certainly not an expert in diabetes, but I am an expert in two things. One thing is my own diabetes. I've had over 70,000 different data points over the last 13 years that have told me what works for me and what doesn't work for me. And I do also work as the diabetes dietitian, write a lot of consensus guidelines, so I do have a good background knowledge. But the thing that I have the most knowledge about is what works for me. And the second thing that I'm an expert in is the parenting of Grace and Jude. So I look after you, numerous hours each day. I know you like the back of my hand. I know all your quirks, all the good things, all your little um, things when you're doing terrorizing me. So that makes me uniquely within this blog and the glucose never lies in a position to, to advise you exactly what to do. So I want if you're some of you are watching this as a listener and for informational purposes to understand this is not medical advice for you. It's for informational purposes only and no therapeutic relationship is uh, made. It's written for Grace and Jude. However, if you feel that some of the strategies within this blog and in the dynamic glucose management will work for you, please check with your team and please make sure um, that you apply some trial and error and common sense as you go through. So as you work through this, you will notice that there is a foundation section playlist as well as on the website. There's the dynamic glucose management, which is the key thing to managing get as much time in range. There's a mealtime insulin guide teaching you how to manage high carb meals, balanced meals, high fat meals, and then the most challenging part, how do you manage exercise, develops an exercise guide that simply teaches you how to manage aerobic exercise, mixed exercise, and anaerobic exercise. So that's what we've got in store. So I look forward to seeing you on your journey. Let's get stuck in.